the Gospel Reflection of the Day brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mombani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. As the day begins, listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the soul. It is Wednesday of the first week of Advent. We celebrate St. Nicholas Bishop. This was a 4th century bishop in Mira, Asia Minor, who was renowned for his generosity and compassion, particularly towards children and the less fortunate. His legacy evolved into the modern figure of Santa Claus, embodying the spirit of giving and kindness celebrated around the world during the Christmas season. Let us pray for the grace to be as generous and compassionate as St. Nicholas was and not forget our needy neighbor during this time as we prepare to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our theme for reflection today is Compassion for the People of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 15, verse 29 to 37. Then he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Great crowds came to him, bringing the lame, the blind, the crippled, the mute, and many others, and laid them at his feet, and he healed them. The people were amazed when they saw the mute speaking, the crippled made well, the lame walking, and the blind seeing. And they praised the God of Israel. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry or they may collapse on the way. His disciples answered, Where could we get enough bread in this remote place to feed such a crowd? The Gospel of the Lord. Wow. In today's Gospel, dear friend, we encounter a powerful and compassionate moment in Jesus' ministry as he heals the sick and feeds a multitude with a small amount of food. This passage showcases Jesus' deep empathy for the physical needs of the people that are around him. You see, the scene begins with Jesus departing from the Sea of Galilee and ascending a mountain where he is surrounded by a multitude of people with various ailments. What follows is a remarkable display of divine healing as Jesus, moved by compassion, cures the sick, restoring health and hope to those who had come seeking his touch. Beloved in Christ Jesus, we have so many sick people in our midst. So many of us need healing of all nature. Have we in any way attempted looking or seeking for the touch of Christ in order to be made well? And you see the subsequent feeding of the 4,000 with just seven loaves and a few small fish underscores the theme of abundance in the face of scarcity. This miraculous multiplication of the food reflects not only Jesus' divine power, but also his ability to provide for the needs of his followers in unexpected and abundant ways. The narrative prompts us, dear listener, to consider the depth of our trust in God's provision and the transformative impact of compassion in meeting both physical and spiritual hunger. So as we reflect on this Gospel of Matthew, we are invited to emulate Jesus' compassion, recognizing that our willingness to share our resources, no matter how limited they may seem, can become a conduit for God's miraculous provision in the lives of those around us. Who is your neighbor? 
How compassionate are you towards them? Do you recognize the willingness that God has bestowed upon you to be able to share that little that you have with your neighbor? Don't be afraid of not having enough. In the Lord, there is always enough and over. And so we pray. Gracious and compassionate Father, may your healing touch be upon us and those in need. Just as Jesus restored the health of the multitude in this gospel of today, grant us the faith to trust in your abundant provision, inspiring us to share generously with others, knowing that in our giving, you multiply blessings beyond our understanding. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless us all and praise be Jesus Christ. You've been listening to the Gospel Reflection for today as brought to you by Sister Rosalind Mwambani from the Congregation of the Daughters of St. Paul. Remember to listen, reflect and live the Word of God, the best food ever for the soul.